So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, again, my name is Sean Higgins. Uh, I'm an alumnus of Suzanne's wonderful program and, and uh, at William James College. And I graduated in April uh, of this year. So fresh uh, off of that. A little background. So I spent the last 26 and a half years in the Navy. Uh, I'm an officer, so I've had ever-increasing levels of responsibility. Uh, probably the most interesting one is I ran a prison uh, for the Navy down in Chesapeake before I took on my current job, which is teaching leadership and ethics to our senior uh, naval officers uh, and enlisted, which is kind of what led me or, or got me down the path uh, of coaching. And we do a lot of uh, self-awareness coaching while the students are here. Um, and I found that I really enjoyed it uh, and had a good time with it and thought, well, maybe this is something I can do uh, when I get a big boy job after I retire in the Navy. Um, so I started just looking into different types of programs. And, and I think for me, uh, being a Bostonian, um, I was pointed in the direction of then MSPP, now William James College, because it was close. Um, and the type of program, which I think we'll talk a little bit about, or Suzanne will talk a little bit about later, uh, the blended type of program rather than just strictly online. Um, I'm a, uh, a learner by discussion, so, so that this program provided that great opportunity. Um, and I'm glad I graduated. Uh, I'm excited to start a new career in coaching uh, after I get out of the Navy. And I think if you're even thinking about uh, going into uh, the coaching field, um, this is a wonderful program uh, that will provide not only a solid foundation, but a lot of confidence and the ability to, to really learn what it is to be a coach. So the practicum, for me, uh, looking at programs, the practicum is one of the most important things uh, that I needed to do. Again. Uh, I'm not a brain, but I really enjoy hands-on learning, and I want to be a master of the things that I do. So the practicum allowed me with the opportunity to really sit in and see what type of coach I was going to go down the path of being. Because as Suzanne said, there's many different models and many different ways uh, the way people um, coach individuals, and, and each individual may need something different. And I wanted that opportunity. Um, the program, the practicum is set up. Uh, I think Suzanne uh, doesn't do it justice. The staff, Susan, uh, Suzanne, and the whole team provide matches uh, not only with the clients, but also with the master coaches. Uh, and I think I can say for myself and, and for my cohort members, um, it was amazing uh, how we were matched um, based on our personalities, our styles, uh, and the supervision that we received. As Suzanne said, it's a complete coaching engagement. Uh, with the ups and the downs and the frustrations and the cancellations, so you really get an understanding of uh, it's not just simply, hey, we're going to meet here and we're going we're gonna to talk. It's actual engagement. And for me, um, the outcome was just eye-opening. I don't think there is, for me, anything better than for somebody who you're working with and helping them develop their leadership potential than for them to say, you know what, thank you very much you have made an impact on who I am, not only as a leader, uh, but as a person. Um, and that impact can go across an organization more than, than any type of training, uh, which is kind of my personal opinion. Um, and in the practicum, as Suzanne said, it, you're not by yourself. Uh, you're overseen by a master coach who they all are experienced and provide a wealth of information, not to coach you, um, but to actually make sure and, and guide you and bounce ideas off of so that you can use this as a experiment. 
uh, on who you're going to be as a coach without doing any harm, which I think is really important. Uh, and then tying in the class, uh, your cohort provides not only moral support, but we all are able to get together, review our cases, and get different viewpoints and different paths if we're stuck or if we didn't think about something and to move forward. So I think for me, um, I didn't have a solid grasp of what the practicum was before I came in. Uh, I think we were all a bit nervous, uh, understanding that we were going to have impacts on people's lives. But I can say to an individual person in our cohort, we all came out um, excited. We all came out um, a lot more aligned and also confident in the ability that everything that we had learned up to this point was, was able to be used uh, to impact the life of somebody, which is a really true honor that anybody can have is to help somebody grow. I'll answer what it's like to be a GCE student, um, but I like to start with why um, I was a GCE student. So for me, the why was um, I was able to emerge as a coach but transform as a person. And that to me is the true why of going to, to William James College. It's not simply a program to give you the theory and the tools. The program allowed me to do that. The practicum built into me that I was confident uh, and able to do that with the skills I was taught. But what the true why for me was I transformed as a person. I grew more in the nine months of the, of the program uh, then I have probably grown as an individual uh, and a leader over the past five years. Uh, and that is by no stretch was it very comfortable, um, but it's what happened to me. And how did it happen? I think it starts with the cohort. I think it starts with the people that come together with different perspectives, different backgrounds, different professions, we get together, we sit down as strangers, we come together with a set of rules to provide a, um, a safe or a psychologically safe space where we can truly be able to open ourselves up um, and really get outside our comfort zones um, so that we can learn. And when I mean learn, I mean truly learn in a transformational state. I'll use a quick example. Suzanne talked about mindfulness. Uh, if you would have asked me when I started the program if I would ever be doing mindfulness exercises and thought they would help, I probably would have told you you were crazy and you need to go down to the counseling department. Um, I was literally uh, in a military mindset. But it opened my eyes and, and just seeing the people around you is one reason of how I am transformed as a person. The other is just the wonderful staff. Uh, always there, always looking for suggestions on how to be better, and always giving time no matter what. Uh, there was never a question that went, went unanswered. We were kind of an um, unruly crew. Um, so that we could be hard to contain, but they were always there to allow us to learn and learn in how we needed to learn, not learn on how they wanted us to learn. Uh, and finally, uh, the how is just the tremendous amount of practice that you get with the cohort members and the weekend in residence and then even outside the weekend in residence just gives you the ability to build confidence, to, to allow you to um, explore different avenues, and if they don't work, that's okay. Um, and we were very open and able to provide feedback, um, both positive and negative, because of the space that we created. Um, so what is it like to be a student? Uh, it is a tremendous opportunity to meet and grow as an individual, to add some skills, uh, to perhaps a very diverse background of, of what you have been doing uh, in your career. 
and open your eyes to self-growth, which as a coach has to occur just as much as the growth with your client. And I think for me, seeing the transformation of myself along with my coachee in the practicum and my cohort members uh, really prove that you know if you can give yourself and grow yourself during a engagement, um, then that person will take benefit out of it. So again, I think it was just a perfect fit. So I think what it's like to be a GCE student um, is an experience that I will never forget. You know, we keep in contact with each other. In fact, we all, about five of us, met up during uh, the most recent coaching conference in Boston. Um, we lean on each other. Uh, we share resources. And the staff um, is always there, even after we graduate, to answer questions and provide information. So. I can't stress the, uh, the, the value that is gained out of this program. I can't think of another program, and I reviewed a few, um, that would have provided the same type of experience. Um, so I would encourage you. Uh, I'm happy to provide any other uh, questions that you have, and, and I think Suzanne or um, we will show some, uh, some contact information at the end. Um, but like I said, you know, Emerging as a coach was just a byproduct of, of transformation as a person, which I think is the true value for me that I found in the program.